Welcome to the Art Project. If you're new here, please subscribe. If this video helps you in any way, please give it a thumbs up. So we're going to do a landscape inspired by some Vincent Van Gogh. And there are a couple ways to do this. You're going to need some uh, white paper for thumbnail sketches, some black paper to do it on, some pastels of some kind, some glue, and a pencil. Now, the pencil and the white paper is what I'm going to use first. I'm going to divide my white paper into four sections. If you have a sketchbook, you can do this part in your sketchbook instead. Give me a thumbs up if you like thumbnail sketches. So I went out and I took a bunch of pictures of landscapes. And you see there on my phone, I'm using it as a reference photo. But I want to simplify it. And what better way to simplify a photograph than to draw it? So I am drawing this landscape. It's got a road in the front, some, a tree line in the back. And the thing I like the most about it are the clouds. And so I am drawing it, really just simplifying the whole thing and getting a feel for what it will look like so that I can do it confidently on the black paper. Also trying to familiarize myself with it so I don't uh, leave anything out. Uh, I'm gonna do four thumbnail sketches all together and uh, I decided to do one that was a little bit uh, taller, like it was a por portrait instead of landscape. Um, in the end, I don't end up doing that one, but good idea. Uh, you do not have to do a landscape in landscape format. You can do it in portrait. Um, it's kind of exciting that way. But I went back, I had, uh, had another landscape with some palm trees in it that I took, and so I'm trying it out. And again, these are just the rough shapes. This is not what my picture is going to look like at all, really. Really just kind of familiarizing myself with the various landscapes, picking out one I want to do. Once I got that, then I go straight to the black construction paper. Uh, this is 18... Nope, sorry. This is 12 inches tall by 18 inches long. Uh, good size, uh, especially if you're working in oil pastel. In fact, uh, even bigger would be better. Uh, but this is a good medium size. Uh, doing the rough drawing of my landscape. Again, just some samples. In fact, a lot of the details are going to be messed up a little bit from going over it with the glue. Uh, the glue is a good way of just, number one, exploring mixed media, two, experiencing what um, a, the raised texture does. It also leaves some really beautiful blacks in between uh, your oil pastels as you color it in, which makes kind of a nice, big, bold black outline. Uh, Keep in mind that anything that I go over with glue right here is eventually going to be clear glue and therefore black paper. So if the glue is thick, the line will be thick. Uh, there, this is sped up, so it looks like I'm just kind of throwing it down there, that I'm just scribbling. Well, I'm really not. I'm actually doing this, you know, regular speed in real life and um, trying to get it you know, fairly right, but you know, don't agonize over it. It's supposed to be impressionism, which is a word I hope you looked up or I hope you learned about before uh, watching this video. Um, impressionism gives you the impression of what you're looking at, right? So it's not a photorealistic painting of a landscape. It is an impressionistic. It gives you the impression of that landscape. So I'm going to be using these chalk pastels and I think that I honestly like the oil pastels better, but I have several boxes of chalk pastels and it is time to use them. And both of them work really well. So here we go. Uh, the road is gray, so I used some white on the black paper and let the black paper show through. Then I went in with the grass and uh, I wanted grass of different colors and I wanted the shadow from the trees on there. The shadow is blue. Uh, I didn't want to use black because that's boring. Um, I wanted my uh, foliage there to be uh, a darker green. It's actually in the picture, it's sort of a silhouette. So I went over it with black, um, hoping that the green and blue that I put down would show through the black a little bit. I'm not sure that it does. And then the next section uh, that I worked on was the sky. 
And in order to get my sky to look nice and bright, uh, obviously I put down a base of white and then I worked the blue into it. Eventually, I'm going to come back around and smear it in pretty good with my fingers. And the reason I did it the way that I did it initially is because I wanted those exciting marks in there. But I couldn't leave well enough alone, and I really ended up smearing it together real good with my fingers, which I'm going to show you a picture of here in just a minute when I show you the finished product. Uh, there was some grass way back in the distance and some water up close. So here is what it looks like finished. Uh, you can see how uh, you can see all the little lines and then I blended it together with my finger which I think made a pretty big difference. Probably need to do it a little bit more. Uh, this chalk pastel is really messy so when you get done putting all of this together, um, be sure and clean your space. So for my second one, I wanted to see the difference between uh, chalk pastels and oil pastels on this project. And so I used some oil pastels. Sorry about my big old head being in the way. Um, these are oil pastels, completely different feel. Not quite as dusty and messy as the chalk pastels. Uh, the road is obviously sort of an asphalt gray. It's an old road, so I've got uh, multiple colors here. One rule of thumb to go by is try to mix together three different colors of oil pastels from your pack. Uh, using the straight blue or the straight green or whatever is really sort of boring and doesn't look good. So try to mix at least three colors together. Um, to make your colors a little bit more exciting. Now I'm going to come back to my road later on in the picture, uh, later on in the video. Um, just getting the greens together now. Uh, there are some trees uh, off in the back. Uh, in the actual photograph, there was um, a big building here. And using my artistic license, I decided to leave the building out uh, if you like the buildings and that sort of thing and you want to leave them in, that's great. Uh, this foliage, this uh, the tree line, I wanted it to be a darker green. So I added blue and black to it. And uh, again, impressionistic. I didn't blend it together too much. I didn't try to do too many details. Um, it was a little bit scribbly. That's okay. It's Im impressionistic. Then uh, I started on the cloud. And the cloud is really my favorite part. Keep in mind, we're mixing together two or three uh, different colors whenever we can. And so this white that I'm putting down, you see a lot of black showing through. This is really just kind of my base coat. I'm just getting started. Uh, in some places you want to let the black show through, in some places you don't. And I really don't want the black to show through on my clouds. So uh, eventually I will go over this. The second color I'm using for my clouds is this pale blue. And I'm looking at a photograph, uh, which is actually on my computer screen, to get these clouds, uh, you know, halfway decent. I'm not doing a photorealistic picture. I'm just trying to get an idea for what makes these clouds look like clouds. And the blue that I'm putting in really is sort of the shadow of uh, the shadow on the clouds. So it's, uh, the sun is on the left and the cloud, the shadows are on the right. So I'm mixing a little bit of blue in there. Uh, I looked closer at these shadows and decided I had kind of done them wrong. So I had a little bit more blue, a little bit more shadow, kind of made them a little bit more puffy and um, took some white and mixed in there again. And then also uh, came back with a dark blue to get that third color and to make my... Uh, shadows a little a little darker and then I'm going to blend that in to the with the pale blue basically I'm using one of the color one of the oil pastels to do the blending so I put down a lot of white and then I put down some blue and then I use the white to blend the blue in and then I put down some dark blue and I use the light blue to blend the dark blue in and then I used the white to do it again 
Um, for the background, or for the sky without clouds, I used a little bit of this color for my base as the whole sky was blue. The clouds were white and the sky was blue. And then I used some of the darker blue uh, to give the sky more variety. And I used it to kind of mix and blur together all the blue. Uh, this is not all the blue that I'm using. You'll see in a few minutes, I blend even more into it. I get some of the light blue again and use it to, to blend it all together. I also went in there with some white uh, into the top and lightened it up a little bit in various places. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with the way it turned out. I'm excited to see what some of y'all's looks like. Look down in the description below for resources uh, from Teacher Pay Teachers on how to do this and uh, in the description below to find out where my Instagram and my Facebook is and tag me in it and show me what you got. It's your turn. Go make some art.